Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television with Esther Galoum. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, paid a visit to the Representatives Council today, leading a government delegation to express appreciation for the MP's role in supporting the government's directives to ensure that national action is reinforced and targets are met. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister met with the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah, his deputies and council members, in the presence of the Speaker of the Shura Council Ali Al Saleh. His Royal Highness asserted the government's keenness to boost constructive cooperation between the legislative and executive branches so as to consolidate parliamentary practices and achieve the shared goals of both branches, particularly protecting the public interest, maintaining security and stability, and ensuring the kingdom's development and prosperity. He affirmed the government's commitment to strengthening cooperation between the government and parliament in order to successfully face all challenges. He commended the Representative Council's understanding of the new directives imposed by the economic developments and challenges faced by Arab and regional countries because of the fall in oil prices on international markets, in addition to political, security and military tensions in the region. He explained that real achievement would be executing development plans that guarantee the continuity of progress and support all efforts to overcome economic and security threats. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanked the MPs for their service to the homeland and appreciated the civil and democratic discussions of the new directives imposed by economic challenges and which were necessary to achieve the best interests of both the country and the people. He said the government's top priority is the citizen, saying that the new government directives were difficult to take but necessary to overcome the current phase. He added that this phase requires stronger cooperation between the People's Government and the People's Council in order to turn the ongoing challenges into elements of success that guarantee the continuity of progress. His Royal Highness said that protecting the higher interests of the Kingdom must be the ultimate goal. He highlighted the need to work together to ensure the success of the shared government and parliamentary directives for the best interests of the country and the development of its people. The Representatives Council Speaker said the visit of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister demonstrated his keenness to review the new government directives with the Council amid the ongoing economic challenges, in line with the strong government and parliamentary partnership. He highlighted His Royal Highness's understanding of the MP's proposals regarding the requirements of the current phase and the need to reinforce national action in order to overcome all challenges. The Shura Council Speaker, meanwhile, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his keen interest in strengthening joint cooperation between the executive and legislative branches, highlighting His Royal Highness's pioneering role in consolidating the Kingdom's democratic experience.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace several senior state officials and ministers. His Royal Highness noted that loyalty to the demands of national development is key to achieving aspired goals in view of the economic and security challenges posed by the current regional and international situation. He praised the effective and patriotic role of the national press and columnists in raising awareness of the political, economic and security situation in the region. He said that the press understands the impact of economic developments on Bahrain and other countries in the region, adding that journalists are aware of the importance of taking the best steps to overcome the current phase. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at Gudabir Palace. His Royal Highness commended the excellent organisation and local and international success of the 4th Bahrain International Air Show, which was supported and patronised by His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa al Khalifa. He thanked His Majesty the King's personal representative and chairman of the Supreme Organising Committee of BIAS 2016, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid al Khalifa and the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunication, Kamal bin Ahmed, for the outstanding organisation of the event and hailed the tremendous efforts of the exhibition's organisers. He also commended the wide participation and attendance of the event, as well as the major deals that were signed, which will help to drive national economic development and increase investment in the aviation field. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister stressed the importance of strengthening cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to achieve the best interests of the country and the people. The Cabinet meeting also praised the 41st Fine Arts Exhibition, noting the contributions of Bahraini artists and the creativity that boosts Bahrain's cultural and artistic status. The meeting highlighted the hosting of the first ministerial meeting of the Arab-India Cooperation Forum, which confirms the deep-rooted relations between Arab countries and India, especially in economic and commercial cooperation. He called for even greater cooperation to achieve both sides' progress and prosperity. Finally, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed all government bodies to commit to the procedures of ownership in order to reserve everybody's rights. The Cabinet also discussed the issues and memoranda listed on its agenda, which included reviewing the proposed unified management system of ministries and government bodies with the representative councils committees, and the importance of providing parliamentary committees with all the information necessary to facilitate their work. The meeting also discussed a memorandum relating to a suitable method for government bodies to discuss draft laws with the legislative authority. The Cabinet approved a memorandum regarding the reorganisation of Bahrain Tender Board and reviewed a report presented by the Interior Ministry 
regarding Bahrain's implementation of its commitments towards the United Nations Convention Against Corruption. The meeting reviewed a report presented by the Ministry of Works, Municipality Affairs and Urban Planning regarding the Ministry's bid since January 2015. The Cabinet also noted a number of proposals from the Representatives' Council. After the Cabinet meeting, the Minister of Information and Parliamentary Affairs, Issa al-Hamadi, held a press conference in which he outlined the issues discussed during the meeting. He said that His Royal Highness the Prime Minister had confirmed the importance of reinforcing cooperation with the Legislative Authority. The Minister said that the questioning request filed by a number of MPs was an internal affair of the Representatives' Council. He said that more visions and ideas would be reviewed by the Executive and Legislative Authorities in regard to redirecting subsidies to citizens. He highlighted that Bahraini media institutions are performing their role and that the Ministry of Information Affairs is committed to all media laws and legislation. Regarding regional issues, Mr Al-Hamadi pointed out that the region is going through a war with terrorism, which is affecting the security of all countries of the region. And the Minister of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Khalaf, also briefed the press conference, saying that 130 bids and tenders had been raised and awarded last year at a total cost of 144 million Bahraini dinars. He said that bids would soon be invited for the 96 million dinar Tubli power station expansion project, which will be funded by Saudi Arabia and Kuwait, in line with the Gulf Development Fund. Regarding sewage and sanitation fees, the minister confirmed that the matter is currently being discussed by the Representatives' Council with directives from the government to ensure that the issue doesn't affect citizens. The chairman of the Representatives' Council, Ahmed al muna met separately today with the Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Shahrashi bin Abdullah al Khalifa and the Minister of Defence Affairs, Lieutenant General Yusuf al Jalahama. Mr al Mullah praised the efforts and service of Ministry of Interior staff in maintaining security and protecting public properties. He reviewed with both ministers the latest security, regional and international developments and challenges. He expressed appreciation and pride in the patriotism of Interior Ministry staff in responding to their call of duty and safeguarding the Kingdom's security. Mr al Muller also lauded the efforts and commitment of BDF staff in protecting Bahrain security and stability and their support to the Saudi-led Arab coalition. He expressed the Council's support for modernising the BDF's technical and logistics capabilities. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, participated in the Arab League ministerial meeting in Abu Dhabi. The minister noted that the meeting reflected the keenness of Arab countries to monitor the latest regional and international developments and to exchange points of view in order to develop joint Arab action in various fields, in particular ways of combating violence and terrorism, so as to maintain regional peace and stability. On the sidelines of the Arab League ministerial meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs met with the UAE Foreign Minister, Sheikh Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the Egyptian Foreign Minister Samer Shukri, in the presence of the Arab League Secretary General Dr Nabil Al Arabi. The meeting discussed recent developments with Iran and ways of stopping Iranian interference in the domestic affairs of Arab countries. The ministers also discussed the work mechanisms of the committee in order to present their recommendations to the Arab League Ministerial Council for further study. <laughs>